So recently, I switched to After Effects to make my nose, and a lot of you have been wondering how this works. So today, we're going to be making this basic 3D nose to show you the workaround of our After Effects functions. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in After Effects, and we got the clip imported. So first thing we got to do is pre-compose this clip. Okay. Now we're going to create the cube, and we're going to use a script so we don't have to do it manually. So scripts are just programs that help you automate tasks in After Effects. So go to File, then Scripts, and Create 3D Box. So use these settings for the scripts. With a 1080 and height at 1350, and then we refresh the textures and make sure all the sides are connected to your layer. The script is in the description if you want to get it out for yourself. So now we have the cube and then the controller for the cube. So we're going to create the camera and use these settings so that the camera doesn't look ass. And then we're going to create the null object. So uh, mark your beats. I use zero to mark. I'll make that the same for everyone though. So mark your beats like that. Then make sure your null is a 3D layer and link the camera to the null like that. So open up the transform and then set the keyframe and anchor point at the first beat. So we're gonna just drag this in right here so it starts from the beginning and then move to the first marker and then drag it out to where we want it to be like right there. So you're gonna select both of these keyframes and then press F9 or Fn plus F9 on your keyboard. So it creates this like a smooth easy ease animation. So next thing we're gonna do is create another null object and link the previous one to this one. Also make it a 3D layer open the transform tab and then set a keyframe on orientation. So we're gonna move to that marker and then put another keyframe right there. And I'm just gonna make this 270 for a smooth rotation. So select both of these keyframes and apply the graph. So this is the flow extension. It has like a light motion type graphs, but if you want to use the inbuilt After Effects graph, then select both keyframes, go to the graph editor, and this is the graph you're going to be using. So just keep that in mind. So now that we've done the zoom out and turn, we're just going to add motion tile, the motion tile effects to the bottom. So the bottom layer, that's the bottom of the cube. So I'm gonna put two keyframes, output width and output height. Press U on your keyboard to bring out all the keyframes for the layer. And then move to that marker and set the keyframes for both values again. So for output width, we're gonna make it 1,500-ish. And then output height, I'm gonna keep that at 620 so select both all the keyframes then apply this graph so that like so the motion tile pops out like that so we're gonna create another null object and link the previous to this one again so we're gonna go to this marker make it a 3d layer open the transform tab and then open orientation. Like put a keyframe on orientation on this marker. And move here. Put a keyframe again. So this is gonna come out like this. So that just make it 270. Like that. So we're gonna select both of these keyframes. And then apply the graph again. So yeah, now the final null object for the last animation. I'm gonna link this to that. 
make it a 3D layer, and then open the transform tab. So we're gonna go to this marker. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna add CC splits to the top of the cube. So we're gonna find the layer that says top, and just add it to the top right here. So set a keyframe right there of splits, and then move to the end and make it 60. Press U to bring out the keyframes, select them, and then apply the graph. So it like slowly opens right there like that. So we're gonna go to the marker and set the keyframe at anchor point and orientation and go to the end with those keyframes again. So it's gonna orientate, okay. It's gonna turn like this, that'll be 90. And then also zoom into the cube like that. So select all the keyframes apply the graph and let's test it out so this is what we got for now and it's time to do the extra stuff like the saber and the particles so for the saber you need the plugin called red giant universe and when you get that plugin you're gonna get this effect called unit or ecto and to apply this we're gonna apply it to the tile part first so we're gonna drag the bottom layer of the cube below the top Duplicate it twice and then select both of the duplicates, pre-compose them, turn on the collapse part and then make sure that uni actor is dragged onto the pre-comp. So we got this and we got all these options you can play with. Now to add uni actor to the cube, I'm gonna select the controller and everything except the bottom. Duplicate it, take it below so that it like forms on its own, and then drag everything above bottom, or below the first cube. So we're gonna pre-compose that, collapse it, and then add unido ecto to it. So we got the saber on both the cube and the tiles. So next thing is the the particles. Create a new solid layer. And then make sure it's below everything so for the particles we're gonna use a preset called particles it's in the description if you want to get it so as you can see the particles follow the, no, the camera automatically wherever it goes to and you have all these options here so open particle and you can change the particle type as a shape something like a bubble or a cube or whatever you want and then you can also change the rotation speed axis the birth size the death size the birth color and the death color like that so you can set a keyframe on birth color like i did here and then change the color later on so that the color slowly changes but well, we can just go ahead and remove it since the color is good enough. So we can change this to blue and maybe the other parts to a lighter blue and it just blends in pretty well. So let's play it and see what we got. And so this is the finished product and we made some progress here. So go to the description and my server link is put up there that's where you can get the scripts the plugins and the presets and also just keep in mind that to learn after effects norms or after effects in general you just need a lot of practice and to put some time in you're gonna be making pretty good norms in no time i'm gonna be posting some more tutorials on after effects so that we can get to like the complex level norms and even i can progress as well as you guys so i'll see you in the next tutorial and thanks for all the supports it really means a lot